Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I hope you guys have been enjoying the cooler weather. I hear it's supposed to start heating up again. So I had a lot of requests from my friends to read a story that was by Mo Williams. And he has so many different stories out there. He's got like the pig, don't let the pigeon drive the bus and about pig and I can't remember the other name. And also, Knuffle Bunny. So I thought I would read Knuffle Bunny today by Mo Williams. And I don't know if you guys have heard this story before, but here we go. Let me get my eyes on here. Here we go. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. I wonder where she's going. See all those pictures? Trixie and her daddy went down the block, through the park, went down the block and through the park, past the school and into the laundromat. So in a lot of places, people don't have washers, washing machines and dryers in their house. So they have to go to a place called a laundromat that has all of that for them. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. Does she look like she's really helping? She looks like she's having more fun, huh? She even got to put the money into the machine. And then they left. So they had to use quarters. But, uh oh, a block or so later, Trixie realized something. <gasps> what do you think she realized? Oh, look at her face. She doesn't look very happy, huh? Uh oh, what happened? Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, waggle, gobble. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. <gasps> Is that what she said? Oh no, she doesn't look very happy. He didn't understand, I don't think. Aggle, waggle, blaggle, said Trixie again. Blaggle, plaggle, wumpy, flumpy. <laughs> uh oh, she's crying. What do you think she's trying to say? Uh -oh. She's waving her arms like crazy. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. <gasps> she went boneless. I mean, she just like dropped to the ground. You guys have never done that to mommy or daddy, have you? No, my kids have. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Oh, he doesn't look very happy in this picture, huh? She was not happy. She was throwing what they call a temper tantrum. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, Where's Knuffle Bunny? I think Daddy got it then, huh? Look at Mommy's asking, and look at the look on Daddy's face. I think he understood now, huh? The whole family ran down the block, and they ran through the park. There they go. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. I hope they find it. Trixie's daddy looked for Knuffle Bunny and looked and looked, but Knuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. <laughs> oh no. 
What's she gonna do? No knuffle bunny. Oh, how would you feel if you lost your little stuffy that you love so much? Yeah. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until <gasps> Knuffle Bunny! Woohoo! They found her! Where do you think she was? Where did they find her? Look in the picture. Where do you think they found her? <gasps> she just took a bath. That's what I think. And those were the first words that Trixie ever said. Knuffle Bunny! She was so excited to have her knuffle bunny. So you know how we get to bring to school our favorite stuffies, our little stuffy animals that we love so much? Oh, 